But t- talk to me, of course, because uh, speaking of podcasts and all that, uh, I've heard you on the Adam Carolla show a lot. So what what's it like going on Carolla's podcast? Because sometimes, and I'm saying this as a fan of him, uh, it kind of seems like he instantly takes over and the guest is just sort of sitting in the chair while Carolla rants about cars. Yeah, that's exactly what he does. So I learned very early to just roll right over him. If you ever listen to my interviews, you'll hear me cut him off in mid-sentence. I don't even wait for him to finish a thought. I don't wait for him to finish a joke. I'll just jump in. If, if he keeps me quiet for too long, I just jump right in. I, he, he, he's a, such a strange guy. I love him. He's, he's really good and he's really funny and I do his show a lot, but when you go into his show, it's almost like you're not there. He bear, you know, he just he just keeps going. It's almost like uh, there's no one in the room. And so, if you're not smart enough to figure out how to just jump in and roll over him, then you're not going to be heard. And what's really interesting about Adam is when you do jump in and roll over him, he doesn't flinch. Like he doesn't look at you like, "Hey, dude, you're stepping on my mojo." He just keeps going. It's almost like it. it it's almost like the two of you are rolling down a hill, and when, when the re- record light goes off, he stands up and he goes, okay, that was fun. It, he's a very strange interviewer, but it's, uh, you just got to learn to plow right through him like a dirty snowbank in the back seat of, you know, <laughs> mini driver's Oldsmobile. Mini driver? Yeah. But she, she, she on she, your list? Well, I heard you had a little thing with her. That's what I heard. Now, that was Danny DeVito. Oh, well, like, again, look in the mirror and ask yourself about the choices you make, guy. 